I own two kids. <laughs> I own two feral animals is what I own. You don't ask me the gender of my children anymore, like what breed? Right? We just got, we just added a third animal to the house, right? Got a dog. My kids wanted something to pet for 15 minutes, now I have to take care of for the next 15 years. <laughs> Call the kids, you can name it whatever you want. The youngest kid's like, Bilal. <laughs> what? He's got a kid in his class named Bilal. <laughs> he loves the name, now I have an Arabic dog. <laughs> Family friendly. I can't afford the halal dog food. <laughs> 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 Probably break even when I have to feed him over Ramadan. I mean, <laughs> they're good kids, though. You know they've been through a lot. Four years ago, we lost our house in that tornado that came through Ottawa. That was no good. The most boring city in the world gets hit with six tornadoes. <laughs> All right, and it came unexpected. A six-year-old, he has PTSD, okay? You can't tell a six-year-old tornadoes don't happen every day. Technically, they happen for 15% of his life. <laughs> so we got him a therapist. He's covered by insurance, which is fantastic. As adults, that'll cost you and I like $200 an hour. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to feed him questions, work some own stuff out through his bed. <laughs> therapist calls me up, he's a great kid, but he's having trouble at work. <laughs> Afraid of going bald? Like, no one expects a tornado to come ripping up your driveway, okay? I'm in the living room with the kids. My neighbor's pool dance in the yard. Which is a pretty good indication. I should put on some pants. <laughs> Panic sits in. I grab my favorite kid. Everyone's got a favorite kid, okay? Even if it's the neighbor's kid. <laughs> we head down to the basement, the roof flies off, the kid swings and disappears, but they don't care, you know, because now they have a new pool. <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> We're insured, it's taken care of. It's more of an inconvenience. Like 20 minutes before the tornado happened, I had just vacuumed. <laughs> They're gonna get that time back. So during the repair stage, my kid comes and we have this piggy bank. He's like, I want to give you all my lemonade money to help pay for the repairs. Aww. Buddy, I already steal from your piggy bank. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what his baseball team's called? The Tornadoes. <laughs> That's messed up, right? I'm the coach. <laughs> you ever coach a bunch of six-year-olds? The only sports enhancement drug that can help these kids is Ritalin. <laughs> Come up the end of the game. Did we win? It's 2023, of course we won. We're all winners. <laughs> it's the 80s when I was playing sports, the coach would be like, nope, we lost. Thanks to you. <laughs> Put a cigarette out of my hat. Back in the 80s, smoking was healthy. <laughs> Just to give it to pregnant ladies, say, yo, <laughs> make their baby's lungs stronger. <laughs> These days, kids can't even smoke until they're French. <laughs> when I was, I was playing baseball as a kid, I thought they were actual coaches. I didn't realize they were reluctant dads. <laughs> so I mean, like, was, my dad's a handy guy. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. My mom's like, you should become a doctor. I barely passed high school. I don't think medicine is in my cards. Like, it's like, join me in the construction business. I don't, I think, I put on a tool belt, I devalue my home. Okay? You look like a handy guy. You a handy guy? You look handy. You have that look like you own a wheelbarrow. It's good. You don't own a wheelbarrow? Tractor. Even better. See, I'm just... This hand over here is I feel a little less inadequate now. Thank you. My dad builds things with his bare hands, okay? He's considered a manly man. He considered the daughter he never had. <laughs> My sister hates that joke. <laughs> but uh, he had a cystoscopy recently, you know what that is? It's where they stick a camera up your pee-pee to investigate your bladder. He had a stone in there causing some havoc, all right? And he elected to stay awake from this thing. That's gross, right? Sounds like putting to sleep is difficult. I've seen him fall asleep drinking a coffee. I was 
wasn't a nappuccino. You know, I was getting a camera up his bird. He's like, you know, I want to feel this. I never had anything like that done, you know. Or the pandemic, I had a prostate exam over Zoom. I'm self-administering this thing. The doctor's watching from the laptop. I think he was a doctor, I don't know. It was, it's a weird time. But I was like, you know what? Your parents are having these health things. You don't know how long they're gonna be around, right? How do I leverage the time that they're still here? So I asked them for money. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say face to face, I love you. Did you tell your parents I love you? Well, good for you. The point is, <laughs> My relationship is more like, you know, a handshake with no eye contact, okay? So I'm like, today's the day. I'm gonna go over there and say, how you doing? Good. I can go over here and tell you, I'm having car trouble. Can you help me out here? <laughs> so now we're under the hood, we're pulling out cables and wires. We're not mechanics, we don't know what the hell we're doing, right? But I chickened out, hey, close the hood, drive off. Now my car is making noise. Head to the mechanic, gives me a quote, I leave, he says, I love you. <laughs> Get home, my wife said, did you do it? No, I didn't do it, chickened out. What the hell's wrong with you? It doesn't cost you anything to tell someone you love them. I disagree, according to the mechanic, it costs $1,200. <laughs> Anyways, you look kind of like Ashley Cooper, you forget that? No? <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. I'm sorry I brought it up now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, my dad ended up passing. The stone in his bladder. Uh, no, he's fine, he's here tonight. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ah, he's not here, I'm just kidding. For those of you who don't know who Ashley Cooper is, uh, she's my neighbor. Now I own her pool, so let's just... <laughs> 